Nail Boos. I got a video for you guys. I am excited to share this with you guys because you guys always know when I get this in, I get super, super excited. Guess what it is? It's my Manny X Me box. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. They are so awesome. If you do not have this box, make sure to get your hands on it because they always have some really awesome stamping plates and things. Oh my gosh, I always love, I love them since they were Bundle Monster and I really love them even more since they have a subscription box now, which I think is great. And if you guys don't know, I do have a 10% code off down below for you guys and I'll put it on the screen right now. Beauty Bee Nails 10 for a 10% off on anything that you purchase except it does not work on the subscription boxes that it does not work for. But I'm going to put that on the screen up for you. And that way you can get some money off on your Maniology purchase. Um, it helps me, helps you. And I really appreciate that, guys. And I love you all for that. And thank you so much because you guys, some of you guys have been using it. And I really appreciate that. So, Please feel free to use it anytime that you like, so I would appreciate that so much. So anyways, let's get into this Manny X Me box. Of course, let's see Manny X Me. Many, many, many X Me. Many, many, many X Me. Look at this. Ooh. It's a witching hour. Conjure up a wicked manicure. Oh, yes, man. Hocus Pocus is the name of this box. Gonna cast a spell. It looks like they have Love Potion number B292 is one of the polishes. And Black Magic is B293. Yes, I'm excited. Because I love Halloween, guys. You all know this. Like, I've talked about it in the last four videos, probably. Oh, my God. Look. Look. Oh my god, it's a Halloween brush. It's a little tiny drawing brush, number 106. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. I cannot wait. Ah, oh, ah, uh, uh, Look, they gave me a grenade chew. This is awesome. Let's go ahead and try this out. Look, it's like a Laffy Taffy. Oh, yes, I love this stuff. I love candy. I'm a candy fanatic, guys. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I got another one. Tastes just like pineapples. You get your little pamphlet in here, which teaches you how to scrape, stamp, and swoon. If you don't know how. Pretty awesome. And let's just see which of these I've got. I cannot go without my Manny X Me, guys. Like, I'm going to come back a little bit so you can actually see in the box and not, like, up close. I love this box. I cannot go without it. Like, I am so obsessed by this box. Like, I get excited when I know it gets around the first of the month. Because that's usually when they take my payment out. Looks like we got Love Potion, B292. And we got our Black Magic, which is B293. This is a holographic polish, stamping polish, and a beautiful pink. Oh, my God. Alright. First plate is... Maniology Ilmex M016, and oh my god, it's so flippin' cute. Look at that, the little cauldron which is, with the witch's cauldron. has a little ghost coming out of it. Holy Kalito, that is too freaking cute. Look at that, that little broom and everything on it. What's it say? When witches go riding... And black cats, black cats are seen. The moon, what's that say? The moon laughs and whispers. Huh. Okay. 
oh, it's near Halloween. When witches go riding and black cats are staying, the moon laughs and whispers, it's near Halloween. Oh, that's so cute. Sorry, it took me so long to read that. It's got a little Ouija thing here, then it's got little potions, all kinds of goodies. I'm excited for that. This one is Maniology Ilmex M015. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Witches be tripping, says witches be gone, witch please. I put a spell on you and you're, and now you're mine. Baddest witch in town, yes I can drive a stick, feeling witchy and frequent flyer. Oh my god, that's so cute. Sorry that I had to read all that. I'm so sorry. That's so boring, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look. Look how awesome that is, though. It has everything on it. Amazing. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Let me find my little stamping pad. You know this is going to be so pretty over some Halloween colors. Black, or you could use purple. Chrome nails would be amazing. Oh, I love it. You could do some smoked out nails. I would do smoked out nails, like jelly nails, that jelly black. Oh, that would be so pretty with that holographic over it. I'm already thinking of ideas, right? I'm going to give you all some ideas. I really just want to put these on my nails. I think I just might. Since I have purple one anyways, we'll just see how good it works. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Yes. I guess I should have got these ready while ago when I said I was going to get everything ready, right? Oh, those are so pretty, guys. I love it. I love, 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 love Halloween, guys. Like, you have no idea how much I love Halloween. So, I'm just going to take some acetone, and I'm just going to wipe off these plates really good. Because that's the first thing that you want to do before you even start stamping, is to make sure your plates are really good and clean, and there's nothing on them. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right, so I have to get my stamper out, and let me see which one I want to use. I actually want to try a new one today, a one that I've not tried, that I keep saying I want to try. But we're going to do this one here, and this one is from Mundo de Unis. I don't necessarily like these kind of scrapers, because I feel like these scrapers um, actually scratch the plates. When you go, to, I mean, you can use them. You just have to use them really easy. This one's not so bad because this one actually has a plastic end and not a metal end, which I actually like that. Um, I'm just going to clean this stamper off really good. I'm going to take my lint roller all the way over it, make sure there's nothing on it. There's something right there. Normally, sometimes when dealing with stampers like this, sometimes you have to buff that shiny coat off the top of it. But I'm just going to see how well this one works. It has a stamper on both ends, so that way if you want to use smaller images, a lot of times if that doesn't work, you can take them out and wash them, and they will work too that way. But let's just go ahead and swatch these, so that way I can see how pigmented they are. First of all, you want to give these a good little shake, because it's a polish. Ooh, that would have been really pretty if I would have painted over top of that and did it. Did that holographic. I kind of wish it was a purple and not a pink. I don't know why. I don't really feel like pink is a Halloween color. Or it could have been orange. Or maybe like a green. Green would have been really pretty. I don't really necessarily think it should have been a, um, you know. I really, really like this one here. This is like witch's hats. And it's so pretty. Let's just go ahead and try this out. And I'm just going to roll, roll this stamper over it. And it did pick up. So let's just go ahead and put that on there. 
Now I know that you guys know holographic is not easy to see, but that is just stunning. It turned out really well over the, the black and the white, actually. I'm, so, I'm actually kind of shocked that you can see it over either one. If you guys can see that. The black's a little hard to see. It did better over the white than it did the black, but of course it's holographic. It'll show up better when you top coat it just like any other one and let's do this see I just don't feel like pink is a Halloween color I don't know maybe it's just me but I just don't feel like pink it should be Halloween I don't know. I just see. I just don't like that. I don't like the pink. It's just not Halloween enough for me. Turned out really great over the white. Um. Okay. I'm not so great over the pink or over the black. But white did really good. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and wipe this off again. I don't know, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't do. I just feel like it should have been a different color besides pink. These little lint wipes are amazing, guys. They bring those plates off so good. But I do want that witch's hat all over my nails. So let's let's do that again. Can't help myself. It's so pretty. It's adorable. Okay. So I am just gonna drag it down. I'm not pushing hard or anything. I'm just dragging it down. And I am just going to pick that up, roll that over like that, and I am actually going to push it down and go both ways. See, now it's actually really pretty. So pretty. You can actually see the holographic in it. That's just too cute. And we're going to put that right here. See how cute. That just worked out so good. Now, when you're using stampers like this, you have to remember that it's not like a, a clear stamper. I don't know if you guys notice the difference. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have. But when using a clear stamper, a jelly stamper, it will... It doesn't dry as fast, but on stampers like this, you have to be super quick because they do dry tremendously, tremendously fast. I want this right here. See, that one didn't do as good, but that's because I didn't scrape it all the way. It's not like a, um, how do you say it?
one more time. I'm actually going to have to scrape it all the way off this time and not halfway. See, I didn't scrape it enough. Okay, try this again. Here we go. Down there now. I can see it really good, but I know you guys can't. Holographic is always hard to pick up. I love how their polishes are so creamy. I, I really like their polishes. See how awesome that is? That's so cute. That worked out pretty good. I was just wondering how well that little one worked. So let's pick up some of these little images. Of course, you know I like this one. This one's going to be awesome. Oh yes, that one did really well. Happy Halloween it says. And let's do, let's do these little words over here like this one. See how cool. But I would definitely do some chrome nails or um, a green or a, you could probably do gray um, or paint them holographic and use the pink over it. That would be awesome too. Let's see. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. I loved it. I love these plates. They are super, super cute, so make sure to grab your hands on them. And don't forget, you can use my 10% code to save you some money. Um, that will be down in the description box for you guys. Make sure to... Um, I always like to make sure and clean my plates. I don't want to leave them dirty because I feel like polish gets dried down in them and sometimes it makes it a little more, bit more difficult to stamp. 
Alright guys, so make sure you go check out Maniology and their stamping plates because they always have all kinds of goodies. I do know they have a little Halloween set um, for like, did have it for like $15. It wasn't this set, it was a different one. But look, since I top coated it, I hope you guys can see it now. Let me make sure my light is all the way up. Alright guys, make sure to hit the like button down below. Go ahead and subscribe because it's totally free. Why not? And I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a terrific night. And I love you guys. Bye.